What up, guys? It's Chris. Today, I want to talk about CITP uh, in Grand MA2, Grand MA 3D, and how I use Hippo servers, Hippo Media servers, to uh, generate that CITP and get it into my my previs or my desk. So before we get into it, I just wanted to show you guys a quick diagram of my two computers and the node. Um, it's pretty simple. Everything's going into one network switch, and you can see the IPs of everything if there's any questions about that. So first, um, we'll start out here in MA. just want to show you guys my settings really quick. Um, it's a pretty simple show file. I just have uh, two layers patched and one mix um, of HIPAA. We can take a quick look at the patch here. Again, very straightforward. Universe 1 starting at 1. We're on uh, HIPPO version 4.4, I believe, and that's why we have these fixture types. Each layer is 146 channels. The mix, I think, is like, I don't know, 30-some-odd channels, something like that. We are on MA2 on PC, um, and we are outputting MANet. We do have, let's take a quick look, we do have one DMX node uh, hooked up in the mix. That's how we're able to get parameters out of our uh, computer. And the last thing I want to show you guys, if you come down to the CITP network configuration tab and, and setup, um, it's pretty straightforward. We'll come back to this and take a quick look, but all I've done is add present. Everything's on the same MA network, and we'll, we'll take a look at the network settings on the Hippo computer in a bit. Uh, but all you want to do is just make sure that your media server is selected and it's green like everything else, and you want to um, enable CITP. That should be it on the MA side of things for now. Let's go over to Hippo, take a look at how we're set up, and uh, and yeah. All right, so here we are in Hippo, and I just wanted to show you guys my uh, very basic setup here. So the first thing we'll do is uh, we'll work on the current show that I've been working on. We'll just go ahead and start Hippo up. And now that Hippo's started, we can take a quick look at our... Uh, our mix here, we have one mix and two layers, just like we talked about in MA. And uh, you can see down here at the bottom in our in our media tab, I've just um, imported my kind of test pattern, and that's kind of what we're going to be using to test our CITP output. Um, the way you would do that is you'd go into your media tab here. Um, I go into my, I think, I believe I dragged it into my CG folder and then just uploaded. Uh, nope, clearly not because it's not there. I believe it was the root. And we just uploaded the files. You can upload from your desktop here. And uh, and yeah, that's how I got it in. So the last thing, oh, sorry, before we get into that, uh, we'll go into our configuration tab. We'll come down at the bottom here and into components, we want to add our CITP and DMX um, components. So basically, you go down here to add. Click what you want, and uh, now they're in your kind of show file here. So we'll go into a new layout, and I've already done it, but let's just take a quick look here. If we were to grab, open this tab here, grab our desktop, then you would be able to drag in CITP, uh, you know, blocks or whatever, whatever they are. So now we have two. I don't think that's really going to make the biggest difference. Um, so we have our Ethernet set. We don't want to use Wi-Fi or anything like that. This is um, in the MA2. Sorry, this is in the MA Net network. So this is 192.168.5. Um, you can see in the diagram that I'll flash later in the video what the other IP addresses are. And this is our um, DMX settings. Again, we have the two layers. And the uh, one mix, you can see that layer one starts at channel one, layer two at 147, and layer three, uh, sorry, and uh, mix one at 293. Um, the last thing you want to do is in your DMX tab here, you just want to make sure that uh, MANet is chosen and you're not doing any ARTnet or anything else like that. So yeah, for that, we'll just go over to our universe, click on universe A, and from there, you're able to change your protocol. We'll just keep that on MA net for now. Um, and we'll back out of that. Once we're all set, we'll back out of that. We'll go back into our mixes, 
and then we'll go ahead and, and uh, grab layer one on our other computer on our MA machine and we should see this um, little t column right here go to 100% so let me do that really quick yep and there it goes you can see that uh, we have data let me just do the same thing for layer 2 to make sure that everything's patched correctly we'll clear that out it should go away layer 2 yep there it is clear that out yep all good so I'm just going to store a uh, quick fader here so that we can um, select our media. So all I'm going to do is grab a layer one. I'm going to bring that to full. And um, you're not going to be able to see this, but on the MA side of things, we're going to go into our Gobo settings. We're going to go to layer um, input. We want input zero. And we want the seventh folder in line and now we can see that our test pattern is selected and up we'll go ahead and store that to a fader in MA and boom there it is so now that we have that selected we're just gonna leave that up um, our CITP settings will just triple check that they're enabled and yep there they are so let's go back into MA and try to make something uh, pop up all right, so now we're back in MA, and we're going to um, make a window, make a view, where we can see our CITP. So let's just clear this view out for now. We will go to Other and click CITP Viewer Window, and nothing pops up immediately. And that's because, you, <clears throat> excuse me, that's because you can have, um, you can look at different information. For us, it's pretty straightforward. We're just outputting one kind of square 16 by 9 um, image. But you might have, you know, some odd shapes and sizes and, and certain things like that that you might want to look at. Um, so we will grab the, uh, touch the yellow box up at the corner here. And this will bring us our CITP options. And if, if we've done everything correctly, we should see our desktop uh, hippo server, which is the other computer. We will choose that, and once it kind of reads it at the bottom, we can either look at the viewport or mix one. Now, for us, that's the same thing, um, and after a while, it should pop up. Now, you're only going to get about 10 FPS, which you don't want much more than that. Um, if you were on an actual console, this is what would kind of slow it down a bit. I'm sure you've seen people with the crazy image layout views and the copy images and all that stuff. That's all well and good. And if that makes you run your show better, Godspeed. But um, it's very taxing on the console. And same with the CITP. So use it sparingly. Um, today, for this example, it's not a big deal because there's no pressure to be under. And if you're using MA on PC, you have a little more leeway because... Your computer specs might be a little more beefier than um, a Grand MA2 console uh, hardware is. So now that we have our CITP getting into MA from Hippo, let's go over into MA3D and see how we can kind of use it to maybe help us previs a little bit. All right, so we've opened up MA3D and um, nothing's happening at the moment, and we're going to go figure out why. So if we go back into MA, we'll go into our setup, our network configuration, and uh, it's pretty simple. So it's because we are not a session member in our 3D session. So what we're going to do is we're going to right-click this into yes, and wait for it. Yep, there we go. Now we're going to send the uh, objects to the network. So now if we go back into MA3D, you can see, blah, 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 great. Um, so I just have a little stage rendering here. It's not the too fancy, um, but it's okay, you know. Okay, wow, the screen is, wow. Okay, so uh, let's just go ahead and delete this. I'm going to show you guys just a very quick way to get the CITP into our MA3D here. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and uh, duplicate this, um, our backdrop here. We're going to go ahead and duplicate it. Drag the other one forward, and we'll just make this a bit smaller. We'll make it about half size, so 12 by 6, 
and we'll drag it back a little bit and up. Great. So now that we have our you know LED screen drawn, what we'll do is we'll right click it and select this material. Um, this will bring up this panel over in the corner here. In the texture row, we'll click the three dots. And this will prompt us to pick a texture for it. This is where you would upload your own custom image. Um, you know, you would pick maybe something in the show. Uh, if you had, you know, something in the image pool, for example. But we want to use CITP from our media server. Um, so we should see, again, if everything's done correctly, we should see our desktop hippo there and once this refreshes we'll see great we have mix one and viewport one again for us they're the same thing so it shouldn't matter um, we'll go ahead and hit mix one hit OK and if everything works the way I think it is yep there we go um, this is just a little backwards but that's okay um, you kinda get the idea so there it is uh, it's not the most high res thing in the world. This really um, is just kind of to kind of help get your renderings, you know, a little more better. And, you know, it's fun to have some video elements in your lighting previs, um, especially because that's probably how your show in real life is going to go. So, yeah, um, I enjoy working on Hippo servers. Um, the last tour that I was on, I was the lighting programmer and the video programmer. I used the Grand MA2 and Hippo, so I'm relatively familiar with them. Um, so yeah, so I hope people learned something from this, and I hope it uh, was enjoyable.